racing to go. Second through fifth, they can't work it out. Side by side. Oh, oh inside. What a great 81 run. of David Starr, and there's more contact. King Ken Schrader Ken. gets into him. Dennis Sensor goes around. The four of Ricky Carmichael involved. And remember the fuel situation. Now we're going to go overtime when we know Kyle Busch has to be low on fuel. Brent Raymer in the 85 able to avoid Ken Schrader. That's a hard hit for Kenny Schrader. David Starr came from down on the bottom of the racetrack and, and Schrader drilled him. There's Starr. A couple of guys having some really solid runs. David Starr had been up the top 10, top five. Kenny Schrader had made his way to just inside the top 10. Michael, he, they're going to red flag this race. And that's probably the best thing that you could ever hope for for Kyle Busch because he's not going to run around here more laps and run out of fuel. But still, it's a concern, Rick. You know, you just you think about these restarts and the fact that the cars, the trucks are up on those right. banks and the fuel's running away from the pickup. So I'm concerned for Kyle Busch, as I'm sure he is as well. Schrader's out of his truck, being helped out of his truck now. Schrader's a tough guy. He's raced all over the world, but he's hurting right now. See, David Starr was, was on the inside of, of Justin Lofton, to look like. Yep. They make contact. Kenny Schrader comes along after David bounced off the inside wall, was headed back to the outside wall. That was the Miguel, Miguel Paluto. Miguel Paluto got into the 92 of Dennis Setzer. And then Ricky Carmichael came along and got a part of that wreck as well. So a lot of damage. See, here comes Red Kenny. Out. I mean, that's hard just as, hard. That's as fast as you're going right there, yeah. Phil. Yeah. He dove in to turn. Wow, look at the 17 truck 17. just slipped through the middle of that. He dove down into turn one as fast as he could be going, and he made hard contact with David Starr. Yeah, upwards of 130 or 40 miles an hour as they entered that corner. Here's real time. Here's David. He hits the inside wall. Now he heads to the outside. Kenny comes by, as you mentioned. He's in the corner absolutely as hard as he can get in the corner. He'd already committed. Hard flying. Kenny has a little limp there. A little limp, getting out of his truck, looking at the damage. Well, at least he's, he's got a smile. That's Kenny Schrader. He's, yeah. he's smiling. Yeah, he's smiling. Even though he's saying, in some pain, obviously. Man, that hurt. It's like red flag condition for this race. Now, you guys talked about having to park on a little bit of a bank. The good thing is, is it's about maybe at the most nine degrees. Wow, this is a good look. Stretch. You can yeah. see David Starr gets make some contact with another truck and look at the angles. Yeah. Schrader had two big hits there, Phil. One into the side of Star and then the other as he ricocheted into that outside wall. Now let's go track side to Ray Dunlap. Well, thank you, Rick. We're sitting here watching TV and I'm with Eric Phillips, crew chief for Kyle Busch and uh, just wondering how tight it is. I heard Kyle say, I don't think we're going to make it. You encouraged him and said we're going to be OK, but you were three quarters of a lap away from the white flag. Yeah, he just asked if he thought, we, you know, if we could make it there. I think we're all right. Um, you know, the worst part about this place is the banking. I think we got enough gas. It's just if it picks it up with the banking at this place. But all these guys on this uh, Toyota Tundra done a great job tonight. Uh, had a little mishap in qualifying, but we've been fast all weekend. So see what we got. How nervous are you really? Come on, give me the truth. After that deal at Dover, I'm really nervous. <laughs>